What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And I don't think I've made one of these since like Black Ops 3. So today is going to be an event recap about Minnesota. Um, you know, my thoughts on our matches, who won, Florida obviously, congratulations to them. And uh, just like a really a, a brief rundown. If you've been watching YouTube for a while, pretty much everyone that has been doing YouTube has done a post-event vlog in some way or another, but you know, obviously I stopped, but today... I figured I'd sit down in front of a camera and uh, go over some stuff with you guys just because I know there was a lot of controversy over the weekend with our series against Atlanta. Um, you know, there was a lot of really, really good matches. I think grand total there were eight game fives, which is, um, I don't know if that's because of the game or if, like, the level of competition has kind of just, like, escalated. So, we did all of that. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get started. Obviously, I'm going to start with us, uh, the first series against Atlanta. Uh, everyone wrote us off immediately on a 3-0. Can't really blame people for that one. So going into it, um, you know, we had no expectation whatsoever about how we were going to play or how we were going to do. If we lose, we were supposed to. If we win, it's a, a miracle. So first map, um, I told my team before the map started, if you guys remember when we played them previously on Cave, I was like, guys, just don't let Simp go for 50, and I think we win. And I think he started 10-0 and 0 in like 35 seconds, and uh, I started getting flashbacks a little bit, a little PTSD. Um, thankfully, he uh, he cooled down a little bit, and uh, you know it was kind of a kind of a back and forth map, and then eventually we kind of just took the lead on both of the P4 hills. I think we held like 120 seconds on him. So <clears throat> one first map, I think it was like 250 to 175, something like that. Uh, next map was Gunrunner S and D, won that 6-5. Uh, that was a really really good one. For some reason, we can beat them in S and D. I don't know what it is. They're like the best S and D team, but we're the worst, and we can I don't I don't know how that works. Um, so up 2-0. Uh, and then, as you guys know, the technical pause and, and all that stuff happens for roughly 45 minutes. I think that was about what it was at. And a lot of you guys have been saying, like, it was rigged over the weekend. And, like, I, maybe it's a meme, maybe it's not. I think a lot of it was serious, though. Um, no, it was not rigged. It, it was just an unfortunate set of circumstances. And the reason I was so mad about it publicly was not the fact that it was, like, rigged or some, some dumb stuff like that. It's just the fact that play wasn't resumed when they figured out that the issue would take over a certain amount of time. Thankfully, uh, the league has implemented a rule the, the following day that uh, I think it's like 15 plus 5, uh, meaning if, if they can't solve the problem within 15 minutes, then uh, we get to keep playing regardless if it's on stream or not. So something good did come of the travesty that unfolded there. Um, so that's always good. And the rest of the series, we resumed playing. Uh, we got absolutely smoke showed in the dom. We choked the gunrunner hard point. I think we were up like 80 or 90 points we should have won that map that was 100 percent on us and in game five we lost round 11 to uh to sell sitting in a corner in a, in a 1v2 that we should have had two bomb plants off to be honest with you um so we got reverse swept by atlanta to start start the event uh, a lot of controversy there super unfortunate you know we knew our group was pretty difficult we had dallas and minnesota on the other side so we knew that we were probably going to play minnesota because dallas obviously is one of the best teams so we wake up the next day ready to play minnesota and uh they tweet out that alex has a thumb injury i don't know the full extent of that i heard like nerve damage or something i don't know if that's 100 percent true don't don't quote me on that but that's just what i heard um so they're playing with exceed instead of alex which is big because alex is uh, a a large staple of their roster is a great submachine gun player this year he's been playing super well so them having exceed was kind of a uh kind of unfortunate for them meaning that i mean we should have won this if we lost the series it would look real bad so uh we go down 2-0 as you do um we got absolutely smoked the first two maps and then uh we reverse swept them which was which was great um kid dropped 0 and 8 in the s and d thank you thank you yes thank you love that it had to be one of like the most unfortunate s and d maps i think i've ever played in my life so 0-8, out of the kid, down 0-2, not feeling too hot. Uh, win the Dom, we're a really good Dom team, I don't know what it is, we've been good at Dom all year, so that's like our fallback, pretty much, so we can always take a game three. So we won our Dom, and then absolutely smoked them in Hackney Hardpoint, uh, take game five, and then uh, we just beat them game five, I don't, I don't remember the score off the top of my head, I think it was like 6-3 or something like that, so... Got our first win against uh, a non-LAG team, which is which is super cool. So we beat Minnesota, now we are matching up against Dallas. And, um, wow, that series was not even a little bit close. Uh, Shotzi kind of turned into the best player in the game for, for that series. Uh, didn't, didn't enjoy that one at all. I think, like, halfway through first map, we were already being outslayed by, like, 20 kills or something on one rotation. I was just like, all right, guys, well, on to the next. And then, uh... They beat us in Gunrunner S&D. I think they've lost that map a grand total of one time the whole year. So, um, lost Gunrunner S&D, and then uh, I think 
Clay painted a Dom for 45 minutes on Hackney Yard Domination with uh, little hearts everywhere. It's Clay's Love Shack. So that's how that map went. Lost by like 100. So we got 3-0'd by Dallas. And um, I mean, the series wasn't close at all, but I wasn't really too upset about it. I was super happy with the progress that our team has made. We haven't even scrimmed S&D before this event. We tried like six different days and so many things went wrong. Like AM teams were breaking up. There was like a, an apocalypse, dude. Um, we had a bunch of S&D scrims scheduled. We couldn't play any of them. The one we tried to play, we got in the lobby, and then we kept lagging out for, like, probably 45 minutes. So we had to, to stop playing that. So we actually had no S&D practice prior with Nick. So we kind of went in just winging it. And it went super well. Nick is obviously a much different player than Damon is with uh, in terms of, like, pace and speed and stuff like that and how he prefers to play S&D. If you guys remember, he flew off of the uh, the top crates with Bomb on Gunrunner against Atlanta. So things like that. Um but overall, I mean, I'm, I'm super happy with, with our team's performance over the weekend. You know, we've, we've shown that we should have beaten Atlanta twice, uh, which is interesting, to say the least. Um, you know, we beat Minnesota, which is great, and then Dallas kind of manhandled us, but it's all good. Uh, the improvement's definitely there, so I'm super excited to continue the rest of the year with uh, with the roster that we have right now, because I think that we can make some, some pretty good strides. Uh, as for the rest of the event, uh, Florida ended up winning. Congratulations to them. I think that uh, that roster is kind of... Not a dark horse, but like I feel like they kind of came out of nowhere. Like they have the same amount of event wins as Dallas does. I don't think anyone like realizes that. It's kind of weird. Um, you know, I've personally never played against them. I haven't even scrimmed those guys, so I don't know like how good Awakening is. I only know from watching, and you know, obviously he's he's pretty fucking good. So <clears throat> again, congratulations to Florida. They played super well. Um, you know, Chicago had a poor had a poor showing. Um, Atlanta didn't look too great the whole event. I would say I think their hard point was like really really shaky. They were they were losing hard points in ways that I didn't know that they could lose hard points. So <clears throat> I think that um, everyone's going to use this event kind of like a kick in the ass in terms of like the top teams. You know, Atlanta, Chicago, and Dallas. I think that they're all going to go back to the drawing board and scrims and stuff like that, and uh, definitely sharpen some things because. Everybody looked really shaky this weekend, not just them. I think everyone did, other than Florida. But, I mean, even Florida won, like, three or four game fives. So, there's been there's definitely going to be a, a level of improvement after uh, after this event is over and scrims and stuff like that. So, I'm looking forward to it. And the funny thing is that the next event is literally next week. So, we get to see how quickly teams can patch up their issues to, to you know, to move on to... I don't even know. I think it's Paris or something like that. I don't know what home series is next. But, they got one week to prepare. We're, we're not at that one, so I will be spectating. So that was just a a quick post event recap. Like I said, I haven't made one of these since like Black Ops 3, I think, when I won like Totinos. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want me to continue to do these, um, feel free to to let me know in the comments. Appreciate you guys hanging out, and everyone have a fantastic rest of your day.